Let me read you something. Sheikh Osama, may Allah be pleased with him, was the greatest and deserves praise for kicking off this jihad. The brave warriors of Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and the Nusraf Jabhat should join Islamic State. Who made this statement? Well, in case you can't read the title of this video, that was said by a professor. Check it out. Kent State University in Ohio suspended and booted history professor Julio Pino off campus after the dude apparently lied to the FBI during an investigation. You might think that red green hat means he's a big fan of Christmas if you didn't catch the thin little black strip at the top. It seems instead to be a pro-Palestinian hat, so he probably doesn't have much love for the fat man in the red suit. Anyway, the FBI says Giulio Pino had a conversation with a man identified as J.E., in which J.E. told Pino, I will kill hundreds of people if they take my rights as a father away. Hell, tens of thousands. It's time for men to act like men again. See, the thing I've got on my side is God. That allows me certain rights. One of those rights is to strike down evil with furious vengeance. People don't even know how crazy I am yet. That's because no one's ever tried to take my relative. They're about to meet to the monster they've created. Pop quiz time. Did the professor A report JE to the cops, B urge caution in dealing with infidels, or C respond by saying devour them? If you guess C, you're probably right, even though Pino denies it. But come on, I mean, look at some of these photos he put on Facebook. While he denies supporting ISIS, here are some nice ISIS militants he used as a cover photo. Oh look, here he is by the Capitol. He must really love America. Just ignore the caption where he says, I told Zia Jarrah, one of the 9-11 hijackers, to head for the Capitol. But did he listen? No. Yep, nothing nefarious there. Pino also shouted death to Israel at a speech by a former Israeli official and contributed to Global War, which was a jihadist news service that called for the slaughter of Jews and American soldiers. The professor was previously investigated for saying the White House would need more body bags when emailing other professors, and in an open letter to pro-Israel academics, said they're responsible for cold-blooded, calculated killing saying their names are scrawled on every bullet fired, bomb dropped, body buried, and burnt forehead in Gaza. He suggests that these scholars collaborate with fascism, saying we both know the fate of collaborators, and closes it with jihad until victory. Wow. If Pino's this brazen with his views in front of professors, imagine how he treats students who aren't his peers, but instead his subordinates. Or treated them, I should say. He's off campus for now and plans to retire in spring 2018. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.